Hello and welcome to episode. Oh no, what are we on? Is this five? Mm-hmm. Five. Yeah. Five. Oh, my it's five. Five. We're on the back five. Five. That's ah. ten, and we don't it's have two fives. Yeah. But yes, it is five. Episode five of Strict Saven Chaos. And thank you for joining us. This is going to be so much fun. I already had a blast. We love these characters uh, to the point of we, you know, almost don't want to say farewell to them in a few episodes. So who knows? Like they'll still hopefully be around. I don't, I don't know. They might not make it out of school, but if they're <laughs> around, we'll see if uh, if they can come back and say hello from time to time in the future. But well, um, this I got is, the uh, solution. I just need Impa to survive and she can talk to your ghosts. And there you go. The story goes that's on. Yeah. perfect. That's also, perfect. the teachers might want to avoid the lawsuit if we're all dead at the end of the school year. <laughs> I'm here for both of these outcomes. I get the impression that the teachers and faculty don't really care about that around this place. <laughs> um, but uh, thank you for joining us. I'm going to call out a sponsor real quick, uh, which is Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. They are incredible. And so uh, thank you, Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Great video game. Uh, all of us have some uh, characters in it. It's a lot of fun. Go check it out. And you can grab a code for an Electrum chest on the overlay. And also, I'm sure it is floating around in chat somewhere. We're going to go around the table, let everyone say hello and who they're playing, starting with me. And then we will end with our game master for tonight, Mr. B. Dave Walters. But I am Adam Bradford. CDO at Demiplane. You can find me on Twitter at BadEyeAdam, and I am playing Theolorn Phlox, who is a Leonin, sometimes dwarf, um, <laughs> wizard that is a uh, is specializing in chronergy magic. So he is a time lion, and we will move on to you, Jen. Hello, my name is Jen Kretschmer. You can find me on Twitter as Dreamwisp. You can find me streaming on Twitch as Dreamwisp Jen. I am a a writer, producer. I wrote on Candlekeep Mysteries, uh, Haunted West, and then Starfinder uh, Galactic Magic, which just came out, I consulted on as well, which is really exciting. Um, It's a very cool book. Um, I am playing Nico Flox, who is Theo's sister. I am a Herengon druid. Um, I am a Circle of the Land druid from, uh, from the Grasslands, and I am excited to be here. <laughs> All right, Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm the content coordinator for Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. You can find me on Twitter as Obo Lauren. Uh, speaking of characters that we loved playing, that we played for a very long time and have stopped playing. Hey, you remember that Dragonborn cleric that I used to play? Uh, she's going to be on D4 this Sunday because D4 is coming back Sunday on. Uh, d- go check out D4. You can find them uh, wherever fine streams are sold. Uh, but for today, I'll be playing Malinky Kamenik. Um, I'm a ranger. I'm a squ- swamp keeper. Uh, hey, look at my fireflies. Look, look at my lightning bugs. Aren't they cool? All right. All right. So no, sparkly. no, no. Dude, they're so sparkly. But yeah, they're, they're still working on the What do you call shapes. the group of, of lightning bugs again? I heard oh, it was a this, sparkle. Th- th- well, listen, you can call them a sparkle, but this is my light posse right here. Aren't they amazing? Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll have to just picture the sparkles. So, you know, Lauren with the plugging, obviously she did not get the memo of one character at a time. Uh, (laughs) That didn't, that didn't sink in with her. All right, Hope. (laughs) Hi, I'm Hope Lavelle. You can follow me on Twitter at the Hope Lavelle. I am a motion capture performer by day and by night. I am a Luxodon cleric by the name of uh, Impa Gravestone, and I can see the spirits of the land. And I I really don't think we should be up to all all this nonsense. I think we're going to get in trouble, and I don't like that. No complaints from Theo. All right. (laughs) Um, And B-Day Walters, turning it over to you. (sighs) Yeah, I know that old boy. Uh, It is I, B-Day Walters. What don't I do? So let's just get into it. Uh... You wonderful second year students at Strixhaven College have been chosen your individual colleges now uh, of Lorehold, Prismari, uh, and let me not give you the wrong one. Uh, did you become, you, you became a Quandrix? Or yes, I did. Yes, a Quandrix. 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 Uh, are quickly rising in the ranks of campus life at Strixhaven. Uh, Before I dive in too deeply, we are running the actual Strixhaven campaign, but this is 
an incredible book that is full of depth and all sorts of like neat things and side quests and stuff that we cannot do justice at all. I joke about the fact that we're giving you the Cliff Notes version of it, but we really are. If you ever have the opportunity to play this, it is a really, really fantastic campaign. And I guarantee you there's quite a lot we did not get a chance to explore here. However, what we are exploring today is Professor Mavinda Sharkbeak. Uh, she is an owlin uh, who you all met on your very first day in class, has asked your help with something. You all have been nominated by your fellow students to be a team in the big Mage Tower game, the Battle of Strixhaven, that is coming up at the end of the year. But unfortunately, some of the mascots are missing. And Professor Sharkbeak tasked you all with finding just six of them that had gotten loose. Uh, they'd last been seen in the Sedgemoor, which is a swampy area of the Witherbloom campus. You know, everything's fine there. Uh, and said so that she would basically look upon it as a personal favor to her. If you all would take care of this and help keep it quiet. Uh, after getting there and looking around a little bit, you have already located one of the mascots. You located the Lorehold Spirit Statue mascot, who was quite insistent on telling you that he's a free spirit, although you have put the uh, bracelet on it that Professor Sharkbeak asked you to do that would catalog it again, and he has calmed down somewhat. That is one down, five to go as you all stand in the shadow of the gargantuan tree in the Sedgemoor. These walkways extend out from the massive tree in all directions to basically um, gazebo-like areas that are rooms and study areas. Outside of the walkway is a very thick, very stinky bog uh, that is teeming with all sorts of life, uh, some of which you would like to experience and some you wouldn't like to experience, although you've been assured that the Witherbloom campus is safe for students to come out and uh, look around in, despite the fact that you were just attached by, attacked by a massive, lumpy plant creature uh, that simply disintegrated when you destroyed it after complaining about that it had been disturbed. And the very last thing that happened was a unicorn poked its head out of the bushes and looked at you, Mal. Uh, do you, uh, you know what I'm doing out here? Is the unicorn still in the, um, because it was, it was like stuck in the bog, right? Or stuck in quicksand or no, something? No, it just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Up to his neck in it. Oh, I, I don't know, but I can definitely help. Uh, yeah, I appreciate hey, that. Uh, Charlie, Dakota, Denver, Skyla, Luke, let's go, let's go. Um, I would like to use... Who, who are you? Are you, about, are, are you about to summon, like, some avatar of the planet or something that is going to go out and fight for, like, ecological rights or something? Heart! Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> I lie. As I send my swarm down, because I've got mm -hmm. this this thing that the gathering swarm can do. Mm -hmm. Um, Technically, I'm supposed to attack the unicorn. It's something I can do if the unicorn fails on a strength saving throw, but I can then move a creature up to 15 feet horizontally in a direction of my choice. So I was wondering if instead of attacking, uh, my swarm could just help move the unicorn uh, diagonally up and out. Oh, God, my freaking kidney. As you drag him out of, the, uh, out of the bog, it sort of like slides horizontally up onto the ground. And stands up on quaky legs, covered in mud and muck and goo. Yay! And like, there you go. Uh, so much better. Yeah. Anybody got like a towel or something? Um, uh, I can't really go back to campus like this. Way to fight the sadness, Artax. Well, Druidcraft <laughs> puff of air to help blow off all of the sand. Maybe. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, apologies, everybody. <laughs> and he <laughs> begins to shake like a giant dog, casting stinky mud and muck in all directions. Ugh. But afterwards, he is shining and sparkling and bright. Oh, and you like, gotta teach yeah. me how to do that. Every time I try to do that, I only get like half of it off. It's it's not very effective. No, you you just gotta go with it. You know, you can't just kind of like try and keep your core tight. No, keep your core loose. <laughs> just, just shake it. Ah, yeah, yeah. No, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got the good fundamentals. Good fundamentals. Look at this. You all are a colorful group. We got an owl person. We got a rabbit person. We got a li lion person. And an elephant person. Hey, how you doing? 
Don't don't worry about Theo. He's he's the kindest, gentlest person you'll ever meet. Oh yeah. I'm not a tame lion. Hmm. You like a vegetarian or something, buddy? Uh, I am, in fact, yes. Oh, don't get him started. What? I think it's too late. Hmm. Hey, so I do not harm other living things. Ah, well, I mean, leave it there. Just trust me. <laughs> Just leave oh. it there. All right. Hey, you guys did me a solid. So, like, uh, what are you doing out here? Oh, oh Is... we're on a scavenger hunt. Uh, we're trying to find the mascots of the school. There's a bunch of them. They're running around. They're, they seem pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, but we, we we need to send them back where they belong because they weren't supposed to be out and about. And also, making... we're, su we're supposed to be doing it on the down low so don't tell anybody like like hey so we help you out yeah. of the mud and you just don't tell anybody right. okay um how about i give you like a little like word of advice though like you know i ain't i ain't seen no mascots around here and i ain't no mascot but um if you uh if you look a uh, sort of that is direction and he looks kind of to the southwest of where you are in the direction of w5 oh well that's not too far uh, some uh, some strangeness was happening over there, and that's when I decided to hightail it, and uh, I moved pretty quick for, you know, a unicorn. I'm faster than I look, but then I got stuck in this bog paste, and I was afraid that it was, uh, you guys were coming to eat me or something, but uh, it looks like it all worked out all right. Yeah, you know, you know, it's been very lovely to talk to you, but um, if that's the case, we must keep moving. We have so much to do. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, um, actually, I'm starting to feel like a weird, tingly feet, uh, um, You're right. Don't, don't I, be sick. Uh, I take don't, a step do back. Do it. Don't do it. Do not be sick. No. Nico, he turns and he looks at you, and his white fur very much looks like it's turning green. As I... you notice that after you cast your druid craft, it's almost like the magic didn't turn off, like a faucet that is beginning to overflow with wild magic i will rabbit hop away from him in case the in, in like out of range of casting the spell to try and cut off the magic no uh <clears throat> um i feel like uh my time on the prime material might be done it, it sounds like your time here was was pretty awful anyway so bye oh if, if you ever make it to celestia um the the eternal four Impa is is hiding behind Nico. <laughs> Just giant Lux is hiding behind. No, this no, 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 no! Believe me, I got it. Thank you all for you. <laughs> everywhere, oh everywhere, projectile, rainbow, vomit. In the unicorn sparkles and disappears, but his leavings very much do not. Wow! I would like to summon sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> that unicorn was not vegetarian <laughs> fits right into the bog aesthetic though yes so to... well yeah that was odd but at least now we have a direction i i guess yes and let's go to that direction very quickly my nose can only take so much um, important, important point of clarification. As you look at the map here, there's basically footpaths that you can kind of get through the brush. So <laughs> if you try and cut through the bog, you can get to W5 pretty quickly. Well, pretty directly. Or you can go all the way around and take the path, which will take longer, but theoretically be safer. We should be safe. We should absolutely be safe. Or, or, well, or, or not. Or we could just go where we need to go because we're kind of short on time. And this is a lot and of... I, since we are prudent, can be safe. And all of you can go to sink to your deaths. And we shall be alive to report what happened here. <laughs> all right. Enjoy going off on your own in the place we're not supposed to be after curfew. Why are we here? Uh, I, we're we're doing a job so we can get paid. Okay, can I can I offer like a I'm middle ground su suggestion here? I, uh, you you could do that thing and where you made everybody real stealthy like. Can you still do that? Because I could just Are fly over there. Apps? I, uh, so I, I I'm so I can do that one more time and that's it. Oh, have we? Okay. Don't we still have it on? It hasn't been yeah, an hour. Pass, yet, has pass it? without a trace is an uh, hour. It's but not, I had to keep cool. concentration up and I used other spells that require concentration, mm -hmm. so I did drop it. 
Okay, that's fair. Well, you know what? I don't have to walk through this. I can just fly. So why don't you go around and I'll go this way and I'll all go be stealthy and maybe we can like pin some maneuver. Uh, uh, uh? I can make this a little easier to, well. Hmm. I'm, I'm just going to start walking. Mm. Excellent idea, Impa. Lore hold for the win. <laughs> along, oh, the already. Pa- along the path, Impa? Yes. Essentially? Yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, is, is you the the shortest route would be to go back to the path and then basically head south essentially uh, along along the walkways. Um, it, Nico, seeing them leave, do you go with them or especially if Mal is planning on flying, are you going to go it alone <laughs> through? The I rush? mean, look, it, I can be just as I mean almost as sneaky as Mal if I need to, so that's mm. not a problem on my side. Um, go do sneaky things; it's fine. We'll catch up to you eventually. Team Bam. stealth. Team Stealth, very silent high five. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, and and Nico leaps, and as she leaps, she transforms into a. I think we're going cat this time. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I let's do that. that. That is what. Uh, you... Honestly, I've heard that splitting the party is always a very wise decision. Hundred percent, always the move. Uh, uh, yes. Alfred says that, that that many things happen. Alfred has proven to be very trustworthy. Yes. Uh, you do not have access to flying forms yet, correct? Correct. Uh, do that you would have, be to level eight. Do you have anything that can make its way through trees? Uh, yes, I'm sure I do. Let's see. Because you very quickly realize, Nico, that if you try and walk, this is going to be very slow going. It is awful smelling deep bog with thick undergrowth. Uh, It is going to be very difficult terrain to pass on foot. I have a constrictor snake. I have a... uh, an ape? Do you... the ape? The ape would probably be able to make it without the difficult terrain because you could pass through the trees. Basically. I have a giant lizard as well. I have a regular lizard as well. Um, the giant lizard also has climbing so and is oh. a bit stealthier. So let's maybe go with that. Big old oh, wait, I'm sorry. That's, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, scratch that. Um, how was that giant spider you were before? That was pretty cool. That was that was what I was looking at that did have the the climbing and the stealth. We can go with that. Giant wolf spider? Sure. Giant wolf spider through the trees? All right. Excellent. You go skittering along um, through there. And Mal, I assume you're flying overhead? Yeah, I look over at my light posse. I'm like, all right, posse, back in stealth mode. And all of the, um, all of the lightning bugs gather around me and quickly tuck themselves under blue feathers. And yeah, I go into stealth mode. I fly. Excellent. It's like, I just imagine they turn on a black light, you know. <laughs> oh my. I mean, now that my feathers that. are blue, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Also, mm-hmm. also, they do all have their own individual feather that they, they sit between uh, right. for whatever reason. Like, Juan, no, you're supposed to be over there. Sam's down there. Okay, no, we're all, okay, we're, we're good. We're good. Let's go. They have assigned seats. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> they've all they've all chosen their own positions. Excellent. As you were flying through the sky and Nico is uh, hopping along, skittering and crawling and webbing through the trees, uh, eventually you do come into an open area um, a little to the southwest, exactly where the unicorn pointed you to, uh, which is W5 on your map. And a ring of peat, decayed leaves and beetle infested animal skulls sit in the middle of this open clearing. The stench of rot is strong. Are we all there? Did we all make it? No, not yet. Uh, no. N- um, Impa there, and Theo there, have gone a different direction. Are there spider webs around this area? Uh, yeah, but not not more than than you would expect. You know, from just a that normal area with a normal amount matter. of spiders. I'd like, yes. I'd like to use web sense if I may. Okay. Um, so any creature that may be touching a web, mm-hmm. I'll know. We'll, you know what's going uh, on. Is that something you have to roll for? You know automatically. No, it's web sense. So it's a feature uh, of the wolf spider. Oh yes, uh, there is. Uh, you feel spiders touching webs, but nothing, nothing else unusual. Nothing <laughs> uh, of, of of significant size. Uh, both of you, give me perception checks. Sure. Sixteen. Mm-hmm. Twenty-one. 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 Tw
Oh, not great. Nine. Yeah, you're web Simpson. Oh. I yeah. am web Simpson. That is true. You're thinking, and I have a passive else. of six of sixteen uh, in this um, form. Mal, hmm. sticking up out of the mud in muck. Uh, you see something black and shiny. Do I recognize it as a anything? <laughs> Do I recognize what it is or just black you and shiny? You recognize that it's something black and shiny. I would like to dive and grab it as quickly as possible. As you dive and grab it, um, what you pick up is nothing that I can approximate easily with something in hand. Um, <laughs> Sorry, right, we'll just use our imagination. <laughs> imagination. Um, it is black and it is sh shaped uh, roughly almost like an upside down heart or like a, like a large V. Um, it is shiny and hard on one side. In the other side of it looks sort of um, uh, almost like it was attached to something that has been ripped off with some sort of adhesive. And it definitely looks biological, but not like it belongs to any creature you've ever seen. Uh, there's a moment where Mal looks incredibly disappointed that this was not one of the creatures because uh, he thought he looked incredibly cool swooping down like in like one of those birds of prey. I was super cool. Uh, uh, I will look for for Nico and hold it up and say, ah, 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 ah. you get very, very, very tiny lightning blood, lightning bug claps here from the from how cool you look during the. Uh, I um, to, to the posse in my head, I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. I love you all so much. May I, can I recognize what it is uh, from a natural uh, creature? You can give me an investigation check. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll fly over mm -hmm. and hold it super close so that mm -hmm. all eight eyes can take a look. While... Uh Sorry, 12. Uh, nope, never seen it. You're pretty sure it's it's from something alive, uh, but but nothing else that, that you've seen. Okay. Meanwhile... Impa and Theo making your way through this stinky bog, moving down south. Oh, you now she upon... turned into a spider. She does that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you come upon a small hut, its thatched roof drooping heavily, uh, languishing on the southern edge of a clearing. A canopy of ancient growth looms over it. Oh, do you think that what, one of those things would hide in there? I, I don't know. I was unaware this place was inhabited. Well, do you think we should look at it? Uh, I don't know. It's probably unsafe, Impa. Alfred is saying that, well, no. No, it's not tea time. It's, we should look at it. Uh, I said that Alfred is typically trustworthy, but I'm not sure if I really agree with this current direction that he is. All right. We'll make a compromise. I'll smell it. I'm very good at smelling things. Okay. And we'll know if something has arrived. Have at it. I'll stand uh, back here. Give me a survival check, Impa. <laughs> oh, oh um, I get advantage on those. Mm -hmm. You you do smell wonderful. Oh no! I got a. Does the nat one count when you're uh, rolling with advantage? <laughs> I mean, no? Okay, for no. what, for, not even for wild magic, because I was I like, I was like, results wise, <laughs> results wise, <laughs> wild magic wise, maybe I don't know. Uh, it's an yeah. eleven. We'll, we'll we'll get the one by the one by. Uh, <laughs> it's tough, Impa. It everything out here stinks to high hell. I mean, all, all a bog is is a place of vegetative decay. Uh, I so think it's, I'm still it's hard. smelling the vomit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I suppose. Um... I'm not terrible at smelling myself. I, I, I suppose if it's important and it will get us out of here, maybe I will get a little bit closer and see if I can sniff out some clues. Right, Give me survival. Luck. I do not get advantage. Um, mm -hmm. So I also got a name. I do you not believe that I smell. I, I don't think that there is anything in there. Right. I'm, I mean, I'm sure if there it's was, safe to go. We probably have smelt it, right? Right. I mean, we should just keep going. Right? We're very good with our noses. And so yes. um, I believe, yes. Um, and Theo is going to, at this point, completely convince that everything is perfectly safe. He's mm -hmm. going to just open the front door. <laughs> the moment you open uh, the front door, a 
very familiar scent does hit you both. A scent that you smelled in another area of this very swamp as a giant scorpion pounces out of it with its stinger launched straight forward at Theo. Oh, uh, my stars and garters. Both Impa and Theo give me initiative here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, this is I now bad. want Theo, all of the fan art of Theo to have garters. <laughs> Theo fan rolled stars. a natural one on his initiative. Oh, no. for a oh, no. That's three. true chaos right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Don't worry. Impa's going to save the day with her three. <laughs> <laughs> we technically have equal initiative. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Um, just wow. Okay. Um, oh, Earth. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh geez i just want you to know something that i was like i just roll really well that's cool i'm gonna use it as the initiative and i'll roll again then i rolled better so <laughs> whoops um hey oh oh geez all right in, a, in a different part of the swamp um mal and nico look at each other like oh you think it's one of those giant scorpions I mean, nah, <laughs> nah. right? It, nah. No, it does not. You've seen a giant scorpion. It did not look like that. And the creature in front of them does not look like this, uh, th this, this piece of a uh, uh, chitin that you're. Nah, holding those had three rows of eyes. This looks nothing like that. This ah. is a, this is a. Actually, I'm a spider, so I'm just sort of dancing. Theo, <laughs> the moment eyes. you say, "I'm sure this is fine." <laughs> You, it's like Ooh. the scorpion sting almost comes through the door to hit you. Give me a constitution saving throw, please, Theo. Um, that is a total of 10. Uh, Theo, you take 7 points of piercing damage in 22 points of poison damage. Oof. Impa. Is he poisoned? Oh, he is poisoned. Mm. Impa... Uh, you notice out of the corner of your eye, out of this same hut, a very large, um, uh, a very large, what almost resembles a praying mantis erupts up out of the bush. It looks nothing like, uh, the scorpion and what you do know of scorpions. They are very solitary. There should not be a second thing here. Um, give me a deck save, Impa. Oh my god. <laughs> I've got a plus zero to that. Okay, great. It's a 17. <laughs> Impa, just as this stinger hits Theo, this creature looks at you and says, <laughs> and spits a line of acid that you managed to duck that shoots right past your head and begins eating through a tree behind you. Oh my uh, however, Theo, uh, actually, Impa, it is your turn. Oh, you know what? No. You know what? You guys roll so badly. Meanwhile, back in the corn, <laughs> both of you. So, uh, remember way back when I was still living in Sigil, I saw this really interesting, like, puppet show about these bugs that turned into really big, big bugs. It was like, it was kind of this campy horror kind of thing, you know, and, and it, that's the whole thing. Yeah, oh, I know, right? Right? It was amazing. I should, I should bring you and show you sometime. Uh, but no, this doesn't remind me of anything like that. Mm. Uh, both um nico and mal give me either perception or observation or uh, um investigation sorry I will observation's proceed. a different game 16 for perception okay <clears throat> oh 23 nico uh, maybe it's the extra eyes <laughs> as you're making your way around here, but you notice in the dirt, someone has written something. Um, it doesn't quite make sense what they've written, but it is in the exact same handwriting as in that waterlogged journal you found last academic year. <laughs> oh, oh, what we still haven't come up with a name for you in this form. Uh, uh yeah, the Nico Spider, uh, Spider Nico. Okay, yeah, what, what will you look at? Oh, Arachnico. 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 Oh, Arachnico. oh, hey, hey, it, I remember you said now you wanted to be Arachnico. That was that mm -hmm. was a really good name. I like that a lot. Uh, do I recognize what it's saying? It's almost nonsense. You like, you both can make out some alchemical symbols, it's possible either. 
it's a magic that is beyond your comprehension or the ravings of someone disconnected from reality. It's nonsensical, but the so handwriting's we, the same. But the, uh, we both recognize it's the same handwriting? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Arachnico, I think we're going to need your brother on this one, and we're going to definitely need Impa uh, to help figure figure this out. We should probably go find them, eh? Both of you give... That is, like, impressive. You know, that you could do some pretty elaborate sign language with eight arms, you know, mm -hmm. eight legs and leaves. Um, both of you give me perception, but with disadvantage. Get that two words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> perception, perception with, with disadvantage. disadvantage. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, why'd you have to make you a disadvantage? Now I roll a natural one. You gotta do, ah. Uh, <laughs> that's a six. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you like, know, if I didn't have this game And I rolled a natural 20 as my first this one. This is, like, they honestly have not turned off the founder, like, algorithm or something. <laughs> yep. Like, something is wrong here. It, listen, is, it, listen. It, it, it is all or nothing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have never rolled this well in my entire life. Even I haven't when... rolled with these extremes. My, yeah. Like it's this entire this campaign, game. it, it, it has it, it has been a coin toss. That is true. There's ones and twenties. That's it. Uh, Nico, what what was your? I, uh, I rolled a twenty person. and then I rolled an eight. Right. No, oh. you guys are like, yeah, okay, Impa and Theo. That's cool. Oh, um, so, oh, I'm sorry. It's a fourteen. So 14. after the modification. Um. Well, you all know that you actually can kind of head south along the path. Uh, which should intersect the should intersect the walkway where they're coming. Basically, if you go south, you should run into them. Um, however, um, I'm going to say you all will arrive at the top of the third round, uh, because you don't know they're in trouble. That's, so, that's, that's fair. Do you want us to roll initiative now? And... Yeah, you, well, you roll it, but just keep it, uh, okay. just, but you can have it. So, so yes, so yes, Theo. Mm -hmm. Very important though. Mm -hmm. Um, technically, since I use intelligence for initiative, mm -hmm. um, and my intelligence is probably higher than her dexterity. Am I able to go first here? Well, what was your total? Because her total well, we were was... we were tied at three. Are you were tied at three? Yeah. Uh, if your aunt's higher than her dex, I would I would say you could go first. Yes. Okay. So is it our turn now? Although, however, Impa, did you have a natural one? No, I did. Yeah, you did. But did she also? No, I had a three. Yeah. No. If you got a one, you're going last, brother. All right. <laughs> so, Impa, uh, that's the way it shakes out i apologize in advance uh, Impa, what is about to happen you have dodged this spray of acid you uh give me impa give me either nature or survival whichever is um higher for you okay uh, that is going to be a oh my god <laughs> natural one but i have advantage on it so i got a 21. Yeah. <laughs> what even what, what was it uh what was it nature or survival so it was survival uh impa uh again you this bugs and things aren't necessarily your jam but you're a reader uh especially after having to run into the last giant scorpion i could make sense to me that you probably spend a little time in the library in case that ever happens again um you know two things that that's another giant scorpion Although it doesn't look like it's glowing with the same um, malevolence that the last one was. It just seems like it's almost just a normal giant scorpion. But what's not normal is that other creature is something called an ankeg, which is a very aggressive species of insect, basically. But they're both solitary. They should not be here together, and they should not be fighting side by side. If they were in the same room, they should have fought to the death right then. So the fact that they seem to be cooperating is highly unusual. Okay, okay. Um, this this is highly unusual, Theo. Um, Alfred, what is going on? Don't you know? Don't tell me you don't know. You you've been dead for a thousand years. You should know everything by now. Fine. All right. Uh, one problem at a time. Okay. Um, and and uh, Impa is going to um uh look at this one that attacked Theo and uh, cast blindness and deafness. So constitution saving throw DC 13. Let me double check here. Uh, it fails, but barely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I choose for it to be blinded. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that helps us. Um, and you know then... what? 
I'm huh? going to, I'm going to roll into that previous nature roll because it was so high. You know scorpions don't need their eyes to see. Then I choose deafness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does, do they have ears? <laughs> Theoretically, they navigate with blind sense, but I'm going to say that blind sense is a function of hearing because it's vibratory. I don't know, so I'm going to give you that one. It just okay, wait. If, if I had known, like if I had known I that, say, you will know. You know that. I will. I will give you that do-over. I will say you rolled high enough. That's information Impa possesses. They, so what they, about this other creature? You said it was not. A, it is a scorpion. In Ankeg. So here's what's what. You know what? Hang on. Let me double check something real quick here. Also, Hope, thank you for that one problem at a time. <laughs> Just some great. Mm -hmm. So here's what's I'm, I'm about to have to call. I'm about to, I'm about to have to call an audible here. <laughs> okay. So here's what's wild. A giant scorpion has the blind sight. But an Ankeg has tremor sense, <laughs> and they're not <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and say that deafening the scorpion will stop it, and blinding the Ankeg would stop it. So either thing <laughs> can work on one of them. Okay, I don't know. Uh, We're doing this in real time, y'all. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> whichever one was attacking Theo, I want them scorpion. to. So that one would be deafened. Yeah, it failed. Okay. So yes, it, it, it um, is deafened. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then um, in that case, uh, here's a question because I, I know that there's a thing. Um, you mm -hmm. can only cast one spell around, even if one spell is a bonus action. If it's a bonus action, you can cast a cantrip. Just so a you could like you could toll the dead or something like that. Yeah. If it's casting time is bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. if, if, you, if you then spell, what yeah, if the right, the, right. the higher mm -hmm. levels might yeah. Right. But mm -hmm. not a spell and a spell, even if one spell is a bonus action. Correct. Right. Unless okay. you're a sorcerer and can like twin spell or something. Yes. Oh right. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um then that'll be uh I will I'm gonna get close to Theo. Um I'm I'm moving away from this other creature and moving towards Theo. Perfect. All right. Uh, excellent. And now, Theo, it is your turn as you feel the hot flaming poison begin to pump into your veins out of this scorpion's tail. Um, you see, um, you see Theo just turn, oh, Impa, it is so great that you could be with me here at the end. If, if I survive this, climb after me. And I uh, pull out some uh, powdered corn extract and a little bit of uh, parchment. And I start whispering words. And you see the rope that is on my waist start to crane up into the sky. And I cast rope trick. <laughs> and nice. I, am I am climbing up the rope. And uh, basically, I am going into the extra dimensional space. And I'm pulling up the rope behind me where the uh where the scorpion and then he's he's just gonna simply say it was not safe impa but but if you are still alive in a few moments then i will let the rope back down if if i happen to die up here because i am poisoned then tell mal where i am i was going to heal you but not anymore i forgot that you could do that Top of round two. Again, Nico and Mal will arrive at the top of round three. Ah, I'm sure they're fine. You know, they're just going <laughs> slow. They probably just, you know, Alfred probably saw some interesting flower and is telling him all about it. And, you know, I'm sure it's fine. It's just taking us a while to find them. You know, Mal and uh, Nico, give me another perception check just straight up now. Sure. What? I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty 20. We have lost Mal. Nico. That's a one. That's another one. No, Mal, you're like very much looking at your reflection in this like shiny, this shiny like shell chitinous thing, you know, trying to figure out like what, you know, what even would this go on? Like how would this even interlock? 
Debbie, Miko. Debbie, come here for a second. Yeah, I think I could get a really good shine off of just like sit right there, right there. Oh, yeah. Nico, you think you hear off in the distance, just barely, I was going to heal you, but not now. I forgot you could do that. <laughs> and I... I leap out of my uh, spider form and go, mm -hmm. they're in trouble. <laughs> what? So here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say if the two of you dash, you can arrive at the end of the second round, but you will only have a bonus action when you get here because you're going to have to use your action to dash to, to arrive at the end of the second round instead of the top of the third round. I'll take so, it. Okay. Uh, the scorpion, while blinded, uh, while you're yelling, Impa, you just see its scorpion tail just go right past your head. It's, just like, uh, it's, it's basically trying to look for you. Um, the Ankeg, uh, first of all, let's... Hold on. Let's see if it's even capable of doing this again. <laughs> Man, the, like, crazy binary luck is translating even to, uh, <laughs> the, the physical dice here. Theo, you see it looks at you, and you see its eyes kind of come in and out, and it spits this acid at you. Give me a deck save, but you can give it with advantage, because you just got this little, uh, rope trick hole here that it's got to try and bullseye you through. You said deck sturdy. Yeah, but you, with advantage. Uh, 15. Theo, you barely yank your head out of the hole in time as this line of acid comes up and hits whatever is the, the roof of a rope trick and begins sizzling and dripping downward, but you have evaded it. Uh, however, Impa, it is your turn. All right, okay, all right. Now I'm kind of angry but uh, and i'm all alone so um all right okay here we go uh <laughs> guiding bolt second level <laughs> at, uh, at the one that is not deaf the on keg okay right yeah yes. the, the, okay. the on is the spitting one the other one is a giant scorpion got okay. it uh, uh okay. that's an so, attack from you yes oh come, okay. on, come, on, come, on, come on come on come on no are you kidding me <laughs> it's a what? natural one what, oh is what is going happening? on? What is going on? We, we cannot ever name a show Chaos ever, 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 ever again. The next one won't be, I assure it's, everyone. We, you know, or do. I'm you know what I mean? Like, it. we curse the fates. Uh, I will say, is you, boom, Nico and Mel, just a beam of divine radiance just comes barreling through the oh. swamp, just like cutting a swath all the way through, just <laughs> from that direction. Uh, Theo, uh, anything else from, from Impa? No. <laughs> Alfred is very animatedly trying to, like, is, uh, trying to, like, you leap this way. You follow through, follow through. <laughs> 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 stop, stop, stop backseating. Yeah, to turn, yeah, adjust, adjust your hips, adjust your hips here, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, Theo, it is your turn. Um... All right, I can't Theo, believe you pulled the rope up. <laughs> they couldn't follow me in there. <sighs> Very mm. on brand. Yes, but it is your turn, Theo. <laughs> so uh, Theo is going to um, chug the uh, healing potion that you have. he has had on him. Um, mm -hmm. And so that is going to... I've got to look that up real quick to see how much that does um excellent so 1d8 plus four yeah okay so mm -hmm. uh, i'm gonna roll that real quick uh and that is his action so actually that's uh ooh, rolled an eight on that so 12 hey. point hit points back and perfect um that uh, and then at that point with his move he is going to start climbing down the rope but mm -hmm. he is not going to get within range of uh any of the uh, creatures down there and then he he is going to keep suspended on the rope but mm -hmm. then he's going to let out the rest of it and he says impa impa you can come up here as well but uh <laughs> whenever the other two arrive on the scene they are going to see um theo hanging heroically suspended in the air by an invisible point anchor over impa heroically 
<laughs> um, <laughs> Impa, while you're down here fighting, that little um, Lorehold statue, the spirit statue, which again, it looks almost like um, if there was a ghost that you wrapped in pieces of granite, basically. Like there is just enough to sort of give it a form, uh, but bits and pieces of it float loose. And it looks at you and it says, um, <clears throat> pardon lady, um, again, I am free to do as I will, but I could not let a fellow Lorehold fight alone. Might I be of some assistance? Uh, Why didn't Impa, you say that before? I thought you had it well at hand, old boy. Brilliant retreat, brilliant. Um, Impa, you can re-roll your guiding bolt there. No way! Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. That is awesome. Thank you for that. And mm -hmm. it's not even going to be great. Oh, it is. Okay, 17. Uh, in your intent was uh, at the Ankeg, correct? Yes. Uh, that is enough. You see this statue sort of lands on you and just sort of like holds your face. And again, it's small even for a person. So it's very tiny next to you. And it's like, no, you just have to believe, you see. There's a the weird lore hole college that we, we fight right, with intelligence right. rather than Excuse sheer me. aggression. Right. Just gonna... Inhale. Okay. Sure, yes, no, exactly. No. Right. Center okay. mass, center mass, have okay. at it. And okay. he reaches over and like, puts its little hands around your trunk and just tugs on it like boom, <laughs> where the guiding bolt <laughs> go off. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Excuse me as a cannon. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is enough for you to hit it. So go ahead and roll your damage. All right. That is uh, 12 points of radiant damage. Perfect. Uh, you see you punch a hole clean through this thing. It, but it is still up and fighting. Uh, okay. it is the, you have grievously injured it. Uh, I got Nico's initiative. What was Mal's in initiative? It's the same had... 22. Mal was going to go ahead of Nico because of Dex. Perfect. Uh, both of you come exploding out of the brush, Mal flying overhead. You see Thico, uh, Theo heroically clinging to a rope, although there is very clearly a wound in his chest. He's hurt. Uh, and you see Impa down on the ground, surrounded by these two monstrous creatures with the statue on her shoulder, like basically calling out what she should do next. Uh, Mal, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, I have to I have to ask because I'm a swarm keeper ranger and mm -hmm. of all of the wild magic that's just happened, two of them apply to me and one applies to Theo. They summon some swarms. <laughs> I, I would like to petition the DM that all three of these swarms. Oh my gosh. I, for my bonus action, I would like to summon 3d6 worth of flumps. I apologize. I was looking at the wrong place here. Literally in my head, I was like, I wonder when I'm going to get the wild magic. Not that like all of them are already here. That was completely my fault. And many of them um, are the same thing. So there's wow. three of them. Two, two of the ones for Mal are, yes. I get a d6 worth of flumps. And one of them for, uh, for who was it? Theo. So yes. Yeah. I'm, May I'm, I summon three d6 worth of flumps? I'm, I'm here for the flump army. Yes. So yeah, I call out to my light posse, but what arrives instead is a flump posse. And I would like, I know I don't have control over them, but um, I would like to use my, my ranger persuasion to convince the flumps to surround the two creatures that are obviously attacking my friends. Fl flump friends, get them, get them, get them, get them. Phalanx of flumps. Yeah, yes. what's a collective? Is it I, you know? I like odor of flumps. A stench. And, and, and a, a stench of flumps. I think. I think. I think. I think. A stench of flumps. I am uh, only going to call them abusification of flumps because they're going to help uh, us. And until until yeah. I am proven otherwise, I am only saying nice things about these flumps. A, a prism of flumps. Uh, you uh, you can give me persuasion with advantage. Awesome. That is a number of flumps. How many is it? Roll the three d six. Let's find out uh, how how many how many how many flumps constitute a stench of flumps. <laughs> okay, so my persuasion is only a ten mm -hmm. because you know they did just get summoned out of nowhere, mm -hmm. and uh, I have nine total flumps that have into existence. You, <laughs> Debbie, uh... Jack, Charles, Chase, Miles, Max, Blake, Jude, and Finn. Right, right. 
They are, well, I got good news and I got bad news for you. The good news is they're lawful good creatures. So they see you in distress and they see these monsters and they, they can put that together because they are intelligent. Unfortunately, they're horrific combatants and I roll for both of them. They just flail their tentacles <laughs> fairly aimlessly in the direction of these creatures. This doing well. basically nothing, but they are trying to help. You. How dare you say flops are <laughs> terrible combatants? <laughs> Listen, I'm not asking them to kill these creatures. I'm asking them to be a giant distraction. That's what they're doing. <laughs> Perfect. But Mel, yeah, what what would you like to do? The flump army has arrived. Yes. Uh, if I still get a bonus action, I will. Uh, cast I, I won't. I won't make that take your action. That just. Uh, yeah. Okay. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you I will. Act. As my bonus action, I will cast Zephyr Strike on myself. So as I call out to the Flump Army, I mm-hmm. then pull out both of my short swords, and I will be ready for the next time I can actually attack. Uh, you can you can you can attack. I mean, you, you're you're you've arrived. We rolled. You get. Oh oh wait, you only have a bonus action. Sorry. I only have a bonus action. I have to attack first to get my bonus action attack. Perfect. So. Got it. Then yes, that that would be it for males. The Flump Army explodes out of the bog <laughs> here, helping you. And Nico, you also have come running and see the same situation that I've described. I have. Um, I would like to. Um... I see what's going on. I see the combatants right up in there. I am going to... uh, I realize that there's this mist coming off of me as my uh, wild magic also resolves and I cast a fog cloud centered on me. And I realize Mm -hmm. that that's an issue. So I'm going to transform into a wolf. I'm going to wild shape into a wolf and start to head over. Uh, So when I get there, I'm going to rely on my sense of smell to Mm -hmm. find the curse. Mm -hmm. Uh, And when I get there, folks will have pack tactics because of me perfect as a as a wolf surrounded by fog comes, uh, coming out of a uh, coming out of it as well um that does however bring us back to the top of the next round when oh that was lucky i just put the dice down and that would have been a crit so i, I won't blame you for that one um you both were 16 right um uh- we were both 22. Like, oh, well, you're both 20. 22, right. That actually puts you both ahead of the uh, the Ankeg and the Scorpion. So you all can um, act again here uh, at the top of the third round. Which is the one that has the guiding bolt uh, advantage on it? The Ankeg. Uh, awesome. The, it's like a like a giant praying mantis thing, basically. Uh, that is still glowing. I'm going for that one. Uh, mm-hmm. So here we go. Attack number one. Oh wow, that's that's a sucky. Uh, Eleven. Uh, I don't think this can be enough. Let me double check. With it the is advantage? not, unfortunately. Yeah, with the advantage, I I continue <laughs> to roll like crap. Uh, here we go. Let's try that again. Short sword number two. Wow. That's that's oh. still an eleven. That's still that's still an eleven. You know, I, Mel, you come right at it, center mass, bang bang, and it just bounces off of its of its armored insectoid plates. I'm arguing with the light posse because they're very <laughs> very jealous right now that I've got flumps. No, listen, Sam, it's not you. It's fine. No, I they're- still love you. The flumps are very distracting. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I, am, I am. I'm so doing, sorry, everybody. Doing nothing. Yes. <laughs> um, Mal, you do. Uh, hang on. Sorry. Let me just double check one thing. Uh, okay. Sorry. Um, hang on. Let's see. Let's see how the flumps do. Again, terribly. <laughs> They're just not built for fighting. They're still attempting. <laughs> uh, I don't want no flumps. <laughs> uh, Nico, it is your turn, Spirit Wolf. All right. I am going to uh, attack with my, or I'm going to run in so that I now will be giving everyone uh, advantage and I will. Uh, bite on the on keg. Will that give me actual advantage if I'm getting? Oh no, I can't give myself advantage. So I'll, it'll just wash. But I didn't um, hit it, so it still has the guiding bolt yeah, on it. The guide, so you the still have bolt, advantage, the guiding right? But there it. is the fog cloud now around it because of me. Right. So, mm. but I am relying on the smell. 
So right, I will say DM you call. can you can still have advantage in your attack. Everybody else is still going to roll even though, because the fog cloud would get disadvantage, but you Correct. would have given advantage, so it's Correct. even. But for your sense of sense of smell, you would still have advantage. Very smart. I see what Nico's mm -hmm. doing there. Honestly, the the guiding bolt would uh, yeah right. You will. That is a natural twenty. <laughs> oh my god! Finally, when you needed it, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So sorry that was loud. Um, I mean, I'm not okay. super happy here, yeah. but I'm just completely in disbelief. <laughs> no, right? the, 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 spirit, the spirit guardian standing on Impa's shoulder is like, you are a fascinating lot, really. And actually, all or nothing. It's just, it just, it all works or it doesn't work. You just <laughs> swing every time. And that I wasn't like even it. with advantage. That was just <laughs> the first roll. Oh, just there, there you go, crit hunting. Yep. Um, I can I mean, I can. I don't know. No, I no, no. I mean, you, even you, can't, more you chaos. can't get more of a twenty. So there you um, go. Jeez. Go so ahead and roll we it. are looking at. Well, while she's rolling that, hey chat, mm -hmm. I, I need a number. What well, what's the number of of ones and twenties we've had so far? Because I've lost track. All Eight. of them. The numbers, all of them. Uh, how many? How many Eight. there, Nico? Sorry. Eight points of damage. Eight. And uh, uh, does the wolf have the capacity to trip? Or I know the dog, uh, it I know does, dog and that was what I was going to say. It needs to do a, a DC eleven strength saving throw. Okay, it is not immune to that. Uh, and this time it got a one. So there you go. <laughs> oh my god! And that, he's that using real dice. dice. That was a yeah. physical dice. It's been ones and twenties over here too. So it is like not just the algorithm. It's, it's RNG. Jesus is a fickle god. It's yes. The game. Help I me. give up. <laughs> oh, it falls over on its side there. Uh, anything else from from Nico there? Uh, that was actually. Uh, Bonish, bonish, bonish action. Um, <laughs> I will. You know, I'll, I'll sit there and tank <sighs> for this. I, uh, hmm. No, you know, I'm uh, going to use my rabbit hop ability uh, mm -hmm. and I will hop out of range. It will not get uh, an opportunity attack, so I can jump 10 feet out of the way. Perfect. Oh, no, I want to provide. Never mind. Scratch that. I want to provide. Um, you want to keep I the fog, help. right? Yeah. Okay, hop up the rope, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no arms. Mal, hi. Uh, you, the scorpion's claws lash out at you, and its and its tail whips out at you too. Um, and it misses terribly. Okay. Uh, the Ankeg, however, uh, still has its tremor sense, so it still can find anybody who's on the ground. Uh, in Impa, uh, ooh, what's your AC, Impa? Seventeen. Uh, it rolled awfully. Um, it, uh, oh yeah, what, no, it would have disadvantage too. So either way, it misses. It snaps at your legs, Impa, as it is struggling to right itself, um, down on the ground. And the spirit, um, the spirit statue looks at you and says, Impa, 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 you must, and, like, turns and, like, very much puts its, like, little head, like, in your face. Impa, <laughs> fight with the strength of Lorehold! And you see, he starts to glow, and you all see Impa gets physically larger. You grow to size huge status, Impa. And he's like, yes! Yes! This is the power of knowledge! Impa, Impa, Impa. now you can reach the rope! <laughs> if if you... I can reach the rope, I'm going to punch you! <laughs> You're a free spirit! <laughs> uh, however, it is your turn, Impa. Okay. Can um, you just so, step on these bumps? Yeah, yeah, being huge, can I just step? What 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 can I do as huge? It's basically if you melee attack, your your damage goes that like you have advantage on like grappling and stuff, and you will hit harder if you try to melee. Yes. Which is great because I also have a feature that I would like to use. So I am going to try to stomp on this this scorpion. <laughs> Per, the the uh, onkeg is hurt worse than the scorpion. You you can you can attack either, but the the, the and you'll have advantage the on the onkeg. Well, oh, you right. would also have advantage because the onkeg is uh, prone. So, and right, which right one there. is not damaged? As the bad. scorpion has not been harmed at all. Going for that one. Perfect. So okay. I'm gonna do. It'll uh, be an even roll then because you got advantage from the wolf, but disadvantage from the fog. Okay, and then just a, an attack, an unarmed strike, I suppose. Mm-hmm. What's okay. the feature you're trying to use? My foot? 
I like where this is headed. <laughs> yeah. That is that is a feature and not a bug. Yes. Uh, okay, so it's an 18 to hit. That is enough to step on the scorpion. I do two bludgeoning, mm -hmm. but I'm also going to use my um the cast my feet. channel divinity touch of death. Which feet of death? Feet of death. Feet which of means death. I get to deal oh, an extra boom. thirteen points of necrotic damage. Uh, and, and, and add an extra D four for being a chunky girl now. All right. <laughs> right. All right. That D four is add to one, so that would be in total of 15, 13, 16 points. You down on the back of the scorpion and you all like hear it crack and kind of it's like limbs splay out a little bit, but it is not quite defeated. It <laughs> is pinching and like lashing out with its tail here as you all see um, uh, Omni Impa <laughs> step down on the back of this thing. And you see the spirit statue is just going, yes, yes. Yeah. I feel very self-conscious, but I'm doing my best. That's all any of us can do. Yes. Okay. Anything else from Impa? Um, um, oh, since that was not a uh, that was not a thing, so I can do a, a bonus spell. Yeah. Yeah. If you got okay. a spell with a bonus action casting time, you sure can. Uh, so they're both still up, correct? Yes, the, the Ankeg is prone, but alive, and the scorpion is uh, pinned under your foot, but also alive. Okay, then mm -hmm. I am going to cast uh, a spiritual weapon. Perfect. Yeah, go ahead and make, well, tooth it will make your attack roll, but what does Impa's weapon look like when she summons it? It looks like Alfred. Oh. <laughs> So Aww. you see this like envision of Alfred who uh, looks like an old man with a beard and he uh, uh, it almost looks like a butler. So he's wearing like coattails, but he also has like a scraggly beard. So it's a very weird mix. Last time we saw him, he had a shield in his hand. So does he still have a shield at least? Yes, he still has yeah. the shield. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, so does that, with that bonus action, I mean, I get to attack or just, yeah. just get you, it? You, oh. you get to attack when it comes out, and then it stays. You can continue attacking. Yes. Uh, okay, so to attack, that is a 14 to hit. Uh, uh, you can go ahead and roll with advantage, because it's stuck right now. Oh, fair enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. stuck uh, under your foot. That's stuck under your foot, yeah. Another 14, so uh you bonk on it but it's uh, alfred walks up and hits it valiantly but it <laughs> seems unfazed yeah. alfred you said you could do this Just, yeah, he You're may not be able to hear guys. you from down there now yes yeah, quite a view of the entire bog here yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um anything else from impa that's it theo it is your turn uh, chaos is erupting in every way i could possibly mean that yes uh so okay so right now we have both creatures are still alive correct? alive but damaged uh but alive the uh the ankeg is prone uh the scorpion is pinned okay um, theo give me a perception check and they're both flanked uh mm -hmm. 16. it's hard to tell in all the fog but you swear you see what looks like a caterpillar the size of your arm just chilling on a table inside the hut. Remember, you tried to open the door and these creatures just erupted and it's just kind of stuff's been happening ever since. Right. Um, but there's a big old bug just relaxing. Do, do uh, I it looks know? Like he's chewing on something. Do, do I know what these mascots are supposed to look like? Wither bloom mascots usually look like bugs. Okay. Um, so there's a, the mascots are very different, but there's definitely a theme amongst both of them. And a, and a wither bloom mascot would look like a big bug. All right. Great. Um, so uh, Theo is going to, it's like, how close am I to the hut? Just outside. I mean, all of this happened like right there. Okay. Yeah. So, so, um, you see uh, Theo slide down the rope and on all fours bound <laughs> in, inside. And mm -hmm. uh, he's just going to try to grab it and cradle it. And I have the bug. I have the bug. 
uh, how do you attempt to want to do this? Because it can go down a number of different ways. You you want to grapple it? Do you want to try and talk sweet to it? Do you want to try I, and coax uh, it? <laughs> okay. So um, do I? Um, so I start talking as I enter the Huttons. Well, hello there. Uh, do, do I have any kind of dawn dawning that it is like? recognizing what I'm saying or does it look like an unintelligent creature? Give me another perception check. Okay. Actually, you don't Mainly have to. Just, to. Uh, yeah, if say, I'm you know, speaking to no, almost, yeah. no masked god is completely unintelligent. You do know the spirit the spirit guardians are um, the the spirit, not spirit god, I'm like spirit guardian, spirit shroud, every spell I know here. Um, the spirit <laughs> statues are the only ones that can talk. But the rest okay. of them understand you. They're basically like intelligent dogs, except for this, the spirit statues. Okay. Although I will also tell you, you know, the Witherbloom mascots in particular, the bugs, have a reputation for being jerks. And this one is covered in spikes. It's got a mouthful of very sharp, spiky teeth. And you see it's chewing on a strange gem um, that you don't initially recognize. This uh, is Nico's kind of kind of mascot i think this one's name is eugenio all you have to do is talk nice to it it'll be fine well uh, hello there uh we would like for you to come with us and be our friend as i cast suggestion on the caterpillar perfect and the save dc is uh what is it uh what he's chewing he's chewing on a dark blue Oh no, we might be having a straight we might be having a small earthquake here. I'm like, what the heck? Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was that's like, how, it goes, put... how it goes in LA, by the way, that you're like, earthquake? Did uh, you I... put did you put your notes behind you, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> <what's going on. laughs> Everything just started getting creaky back there. So I'm like, either my shelf's about to collapse or <laughs> maybe I'm like, I don't know. I'm um, not feeling any oh, maybe. Right? Unfortunately. Again, all right. sorry to sorry to deviate you all, but I know it seems alien when you don't live here, but this is really how it happens. You're like, was that what that was? And then you're like, I don't know. I, I don't mean, have a light. I is have everybody a light okay? Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this, if, if it is one, shelter. it's so small that it's not a, yeah. a thing. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, it, it, at first I was like, is somebody trying to open my door? And I'm like, no, that's not what We're going to do the one thing that yeah. you do here is you do yeah. earthquake Twitter. But to say, you, go, you look on Twitter. Yeah, right. I'm looking. Yeah. Um, Who knows? It could have been anything. Uh, but for the record, what it's chewing on is a dark rhomboid. A dark blue rhomboid is what it's chewing on. Suggestion. Uh, what is it that you're suggesting? That it come with you? I would like for you to accompany me and my friends and possibly give me that gem inside your little tiny cute maw. You see, it crawls forward and just goes Mwah! and this gem just covered in bug goober just sort of rolls out into your hand and it just stands up and gives you like its upper two little legs for uppies. Uh, now, uh, if you can help <laughs> us kill these other horrible creatures out there with your vicious spikes, that would also be appreciated. It just um, sort of looks at you and it just kind of like nods and just like hops off the table and starts like slowly trudging. I have brought us reinforcements. <laughs> uh, it does walk right over to the scorpion uh, in, jeez, <laughs> again, uh, <laughs> I gave it advantage because it's pinned. Got a one and a 19. That's it. That's today. That's, that's, the, that's the day today. Um, and you do see it just walks over and just kind of buries its mouth right into the scorpion's tail. It's like, and you hear the like chitinous shell crack under it. Like this thing is small, but like it's got a pretty powerful bite. Uh, and the scorpion starts whipping its tail and it just sort of holds on to it while it's moving around. Perfect. <laughs> Anything else from Theo? That is enough. Perfect. We're all the way back around to the top with Mal. All right, posse. I I need you here. Come on, I'm I'm letting everybody down. Help me out. Help me out. Uh, I'm gonna try to to go after this thing again. Uh, the on the prone, so you got advantage. Yeah, I'm going after it. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. That's an 18 to hit. That is enough. Awesome. So it is now my favorite foe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do eight uh, piercing damage. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do another 
one favored foe damage, and then uh, the light posse is going to spring in to... Uh, do I just want to do damage? Or it's it's prone, so it'll I'll leave it there and we'll just do some extra damage. Mm -hmm. Uh my lightning bugs swoop on in for an extra two bug damage. And Perfect. Then I will I will do it again. Do it again. Mm -hmm. Harder, harder. 18 mm -hmm. to hit. That is also enough. Oh thank oh, and I forgot the Zephyr strike. Oh. Yep. Hold yeah, on. you can still add it in. Uh, give yourself advantage. Yeah, okay, yeah. I don't, okay, so the Zephyr Strike from last time was seven more uh, force damage. Okay. Okay, so my second attack is going to do four piercing, mm -hmm. three favored foe. I know, mm -hmm. it's like lots of little, little bits of damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Four of the force damage, and, and my buddy. That is actually and the force damage edges the on keg over so tell me what it looks like when mal very slowly hacks this thing into pieces i think because the last bit of damage is actually my swarm uh mm -hmm. erupts around it because now now we're trying to make sure that like we don't embarrass ourselves uh and so i think as mal pierces into this on keg one more time leaves just a big enough hole and all of my lightning bugs swarm around and then dive into the hole and then explode out in little tiny um little tiny holes that they've burrowed their way out of and that is that is how this thing dies uh perfect the scorpion Valiant to the last, just rolls awfully, trying to get its pinchers back to Impa's leg and can't. Its tail comes up and is kind of like jabbing <laughs> at you, but still not quite reaching. Um, uh, but you do notice, Impa, that like its legs are scrambling, like it's trying to get away. Like it's still fighting because it's stuck, but it's trying to leave. Too bad for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's How real Real quick question. The mm -hmm. scorpion, you said that's like a normal creature. I don't see any of that black ooze. I don't Correct. see it. Okay. Correct. Is it, it, a... it, it, it is a giant scorpion. It just um, lives in the bog. I was just saying, I don't, I don't know that um, any... Well, give me a survival check, Mal. Okay. Nope, that's... that's Sorry. Okay, so I rolled an 18, 21. Um... You also are aware of the fact that this giant scorpion and Ankeg should not have been here together. Like, I mean, again, it should have been instant beef where they fought to the death, but they didn't. Is the giant scorpion considered a beast? Yes. Uh, so I'll finish slaughtering this one thing, turn around, mm. see it going after my friend, and I will say, I'll, uh, we want to find out what the heck it was doing here. I can talk to it if you want. And it's not my turn anymore, so I'll, I'm just saying that mm -hmm. out loud. I can't talk because I'm a wolf. So, <laughs> hey, we all got dogs. There's ways to communicate. Mm -hmm. However, Nico, it is your turn unless you want to hold your action to see what Mal is going to do. I mean, I'd like to. Do, can I do non-lethal damage? Yeah. Okay. So then, let's try and knock this thing out to a situation where we can tie it up and such. Okay. Um, so I will, uh, do I get advantage from Impa? Uh, yes, it's still pinned. So It's got a this. huge Loxodon boot on its back. <laughs> so it's from both 17s. So that's a 21 to hit. Uh, uh, more than enough. Yep. And I think it's a D4. Is that right? It is a... So many flumps. <laughs> and it needs to make a strength save. And so that is going to be six points of damage and a strength save to keep it from uh, oh. getting knocked prone. What uh, what's the what's the DC on the strength save? Eleven. Uh, it actually does make that. So it's okay, pinned but not enough. prone. It's still on pinned its feet. Pinned but not prone. Like there's fair no enough. room to knock it over, basically. Uh, fair enough. Excellent. Uh Impa, it is your turn. So, uh, can I see what's going on? Is the fog cloud still, still foggy? So yeah, I, I can't. <laughs> I, am I above the fog cloud? 
Uh, you're uh-huh. huge. Your head is probably right near the top of it. Yeah, that you kind of mm-hmm. it's just like vague shapes swirling underneath with everybody else yelling. <laughs> um. Okay. Then, um, not really knowing what's going on down there, um, going to attempt to use my spiritual weapon to attack the. What would what, you call the Angel? Scorpion. Un- Unboxing. The, 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 the dead. No, uh, oh, okay. take away. this is yeah, the scorpion. No, just, this is why I was asking about the one. Yeah, because this mm-hmm. one I could talk to. Or we could kill it. Like, either way. I mean... Honestly, you can do both. You can stomp on it and spiritual weapon it. Um, because spiritual weapon's a bonus action now that um so Well what I I heard I heard what um Mal had said, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I yelled and, it out. And what did you yell out exactly? It's do, do we want to talk to this thing? Why would we want to do that? Find out why it's here and doing this? This is weird. It lives here. We knocked on its little hut door and it didn't like it. Well, yeah, but they don't they don't usually hang out with the the other creepy dude, right? Yes, it's all very strange, but I I I I mean, I have a spiritual weapon here. I've never used it before. I just do to it. clarify I'm with everyone, we have a mascot here, so our job here is done. Oh. But should we put it out of its misery? I, I don't know. Impa, you got oh. your... <laughs> I don't Impa, know you got your spiritual weapon. You, go for it. Uh, I think uh, first thing I'll do is, is... Well, yeah, I can attack with my spiritual weapon first, right? Yeah, you can the spiritual weapon, you can stomp on it you, in, in, okay. in either order. That's 23 to hit. That is more than enough. Alfred goes fourth and does nine points. Tell me what it looks like when Alfred kills this thing. Alfred's just kind of looking back and forth at us bickering. And while we're bickering, he just goes forth and uses a shield and just goes, bonk! (laughs) You hear a large crack right in between its multiple pairs of eyes, and it just sort of slumps to the ground. I have to say, after all this time, I did not actually think he was real. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and you start to hear very happy crunching as the Witherbloom mascot just starts eating the tail of the scorpion where it was oh already biting. <laughs> That's no a lot of teeth. Bad caterpillar. Huh? It's like it's hungry, hungry. <laughs> yep, just scorpion goo just kind of drips out of its mouth and it's... <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm cleaning off Ankeg from all of the, the lightning bugs who had eaten their way out. And I'm like, what are you talking about? They gotta eat. I, th- these things don't look like they're covered in goo. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna interpret the grease that's centered on me as the goo from the yep. scorpion and the onkeg, especially Lork. the scorpion that yep. that that yep. Uh, that Impa was squashing like a bug. You see, the spirit statue looks at you and says, "Well done. Well, back down to um, I don't know. I was going to say the lower levels, but you're always as." Uh, student of stature, and you begin to shrink back to your normal size, Impa. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and transform back out. And do I smell anything else before I do? One thing, actually. Uh, you said, But it's a very positive smell. And as you kind of follow your nose a little bit into the hut, you realize there's quite a lot of herbalism supplies in here, enough that Ooh. you could make a herbalism kit. Sure. Herbalism. I actually use a herbalism kit, so that would be lovely. There you go. Um, each of you give me uh, an intel, an arcana check. Sure. <laughs> Ten. Middle Ten. of the road. Seven. Thirteen. Seven. Eight. Thir- what? Wow. I'm supposed oh. to be so good at this. You're Guys. in shock. Um, um, you, as you're coming down, you see the um, the spirit statue just leans over into your ear and goes, he says, um, uh, hang on one second, um, school solidarity, you know, and hops over onto your shoulder, Theo. Ah, that shiny stone, do you know what that is, boy? Uh, I have no idea. It came out of the caterpillar's mouth. That is an ion stone. If it could be repaired, it is a mystical implement of uh, some power. I believe that one would be an awareness stone, which clearly you are lacking, boy. He says, pointing down at the giant hole in your chest. 
<laughs> I I don't think that I like your tone, but hmm. I cannot really argue with your logic. Ah, it will prevent you from ever being surprised, assuming you can fix it. Would you like my assistance with this young man? I, as I have already assisted the mighty Impa here. Mighty Impa. Well, of, of course Doral. I would. What kind of question is that? A good one. The only kind I ask. Okay, pay attention, boy. And he does like same thing. Grabs your head and rotates it. So that you have to look at it. And he starts explaining things to you in a way that actually kind of makes sense about the flow of magic through this device. Uh, roll Arcana again with advantage. Yes, yes, yes. See, here's what you have to understand. What you were trying to do was simply repair the structure. Ah, that's not what you have to do. You may have I give to, may no, give him guidance? You can. Mm -hmm. Oh, not that you yeah. needed it, but realign the flow. Of I energy. will take it. Yep. Uh, throw, throw that D four on there. Uh, twenty three. He tells you how to fix this, and it starts floating in the palm of your hand. He's like, yes, it, whoever's going to use it, I, I assume you have earned it, but uh, perhaps you want to give it to someone else, but it will orbit their head like a tiny moon, and you do have a gargantuan cranium. Uh, however, it will prevent you from being surprised, at least the next giant scorpion, mm, you would know. Power of the moon in the palm of my hand. And uh, he uh, says, I, uh, to the victor go the spoils, is what I've always heard, and so I'm sure that everyone would agree with that. I always let all of you take things that you find, so finders Listen, keepers. I, I got, I got enough awesome things already orbiting in my head, so that's fine. Uh, Morgan, oh. come here, you're covered in guts. Oh. Are we just going to forget that he left me in the middle of battle? I, I mean, did what? not leave you, it was a tactical retreat. I was on death's door. And oh, by the way, I didn't know that you could grow as tall as a second story house. <laughs> so perhaps we should all take inventory of what everyone can do, where if we ever find ourselves in such a situation again, I will know that perhaps you could have healed me. Oh, now, speaking... now, 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 students, students, um, you are both lore hold. We have a variety of ways of solving problems, sometimes through tactical retreat, intelligently disguised as abject cowardli cowardliness <laughs> um, that I'm not accustomed to from a lion, actually All such cowardice. Um, however, uh, Impa hey, don't insult my brother, please. Well, it's not an insult when it's an observation, young Herangon. He did, in fact, flee quite convincingly. However, uh, <laughs> Lady Impa here was more than up to the challenge yes lore hold fine, also fine, fine. Uh, speaking of inventory and i'm gonna pull out the thing that we found in the clearing uh, the little uh, upside down heart which um mal is now holding like a heart because oh look a hot hey well, the reason we were coming to find you we couldn't find one of those uh mascot things but I found this any either you have any ideas what this might be i'll hold it out i don't really have time to start the ritual so i actually am perfectly fine and well, actually, I, you know i'm you're you're pretty beat up there theo and well I i'm honestly kind of tired those that. transformations take a lot out of me they kind of hurt and i'm uh a bit i mean can we take a couple of minutes just to to, to, to breathe i'm sure this hut is perfectly safe or or for at least a little while longer we can all abide in the extra dimensional space that I created out of thin air. That's what that's that fine. Let's right do that. Needs. Let's do that, and then let's keep moving. Can can you move the rope on a stick? Okay, like the can you move it? And the, mage and we, hand. What does that? What do you mean? No, no. Yes, we can get it with mage hand, and I'm going to uh, cast mage hand and start pulling the rope down. It's like we can all stay up there now. Here's the thing, is that I believe that uh, it's probably 50, 55 minutes or so from now. It's probably going to just completely dissolve and we will all fall. Um, so we need to be prepared for that. But we can at least rest for a little while in there. I mean, rest sounds good. The, the two of you look knackered. Am I hearing a short rest? Please. Mm -hmm. hey. If mm -hmm. possible. Because you need to, to heal, Theo, well. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, absolutely. I, uh, I could use a chance. I'm hearing to... that Impa could do this, and so I would like to see her, uh, you know, peddle her wares, perhaps. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I can heal, but will I? Well, that is, that's a philosophical discussion to have 
up the rope, right? Uh, oh, hey, what, what's what's the inside of your little hut look like? Uh, and I will fly up the rope, not even bothering to use the rope, and stick my head through the extra dimensional space and be like. I mean, it's incredibly Spartan in there. Like, there's really no bells and whistles. It's just a dark room with a candle in the center of it. Oh, I stick my head back out. Wow, this is kind of disappointing for you. You usually what, have more pizzazz than this. Uh, what does that supposed to mean? I mean, sometimes you need a place to just withdraw and, and shut out Can we out just, all like, figure out what our plan is now so we can rest, we can get going. After that, we can think about this while we're sure. resting. We can figure out a strategy. I, and we can After you. And basically, uh, Theo's going to kind of position himself between, um, like, uh, Impa and the rest. Like, he's going to let uh, Nico and Mal go up. And then okay. as we're going up the rope, uh, he, he's going to be up there ahead of Impa. And so, I guess I need to ponder the question of whether I'm going to let you in here or not. Oh, my God. I was really going to heal you, but now I'm not so sure. Then why, why are you picking at me so? Why are you picking at me? I'm not picking at you. I'm we're simply supposed to be teammates here. I, I, we no, we are teammates, but when a teammate is about to die, the teammate needs to go somewhere safe to drink his potion where he can come back and save you or whatever heroic thing I'm sure I was going to do. <laughs> All right, fine, fine. Very well. Come You're in, not a Get fine. in here. Get okay. in here. Are you two of you done? Can we can we be up here and now be a family again? Okay, good. From In above, case, as we were climbing up, did, could we see anything about the layout of this place? Uh, it and is, or um, potential places we might want to be looking next? Uh, yes, but it does pretty much fit the map you've got. You've got a map of the place. Okay. You have an idea where the buildings and clearings are. Uh, but like nothing is on fire or, you know, radically terrible. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast Identify before the short rest. All right. Ritual Identify. Um, actually, I, I, I don't know. Like, I think that would interrupt the short rest. So I don't want to necessarily make everybody wait. So I, I'm just going to cast it uh, with the single action. Uh, and I'm going to do it on whatever that object that Mal handed Theo was. The heart-like uh. thing. You, all right. So, with the with what identify can actually uh, tell you, um, it doesn't really quite make sense, um, Theo, because you know things about objects. You know things about um, uh, what what magic is affecting a thing. If a creature is affected by magic, if anything, you feel like this is the opposite of magic. You feel like it is almost anti-magic and a creeping feeling of dread and terror comes through you. Like whatever this was attached to, because it's clearly biological. If it were, if it were something constructed, you would know whatever this is, is terrifying. Uh, this is a horrible, horrible thing that we should not possess, and we probably should return to the school grounds as quickly and as promptly as we possibly can. Oh, but we haven't finished our quest. Uh, we'll we'll get we'll we'll get there. We just we'll take a we'll, we'll take the 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 fastest path possible to getting back to the school grounds. You you know through the things we need to get done. When we found it, um, Nico also found like some writing in the dirt that looked like the writing that was in that uh, journal, right? Yeah, I did. It was, um, and can I do my best to recall what it looked like and yeah. show that to, to Theo? I mean, honestly, I will say even after you rest, if you want to go physically go back and show it to him, you can, you can <laughs> actually see it. Uh, Theo, doesn't make any sense to you either. It is the same handwriting, but it... It's it's nonsense. It's either again such sophisticated magic, or absolute nonsense. Okay. I mean, it can't be. And, a and, and what form right? is that taking? Like, uh, what what is? It is like it's somebody physically like wrote it in the ground. Like if they just like had their finger and were doodling. 
I want... almost as if someone were making notes and they lost their notebook. I mean, it can't be a coincidence, right? Right? Like, here's, here's more of the creepy stuff from the creepy person who was trying to do creepy stuff in the creepy swamp. And then we find, like, two creatures that normally don't hang out together, hanging out together, doing Sh creepy things. Just in case it's some sort of spell that I just can't understand how it works, I'm going to just kind of drag my foot through it to try and disrupt it in case that's part of what's affecting the creatures in the spell or in, the, you, in the swamp. Are you going to make any kind of record of what it said? Like this, Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. I'd like to copy Perfect. it down if I can elsewhere. Perfect. Yep. You absolutely can copy it down and then destroy it. Uh, all of you see the Witherbloom pest mascot is making rotations around Theo trying to catch the ion stone just like crawling around as <laughs> it, it is order orbiting his head it's like... I um I, as the before the uh writing goes out I am going to cast and code thoughts mm -hmm. um to uh transform this text before we uh move it away into uh, a physical manifestation uh, a, a thought string that Perfect. we could uh, potentially use again at a later time. You absolutely can. Perfect. Um, Quick question. Yes. The the pest mascot mm -hmm. is that considered a beast? I don't think so. Let me double check. I mean, because to Mal, it looks like a big bug, a big. True, but they're they're all they're usual they're usually summoned. Let's see though. Yeah. Uh, nope. It's a monstrosity, actually. Drat. Mm. It's a monstrosity. Hey, Theo, uh, you know how you were able to find that first one? You think we can do that again? I certainly mm. can try. And um, which others do we need to find? How many? So are we've there? gotten yeah. Witherbloom and we've gotten Lorehold, right? Mm hmm. And You've been with us, so there's Prismari, Quandrix, and Silver Quail out here. Although I thought there were six of them. Maybe there's only five. No, there's six. Yeah. No, that's weird. No, there's definitely six, but there's five colleges. Ah, womp womp. Let me see what are these thing on. Isn't it like that the um so Laurel the pest spirits? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You've got it up. Uh, Laura has spirit statues, Prismaria has air elementals, Quandrix has fractals, Silver Quill has inklings or oozes, and Witherbloom has pests. That's all I have in terms of my information. Well, yes, we and, and, and you would you would have all of you would have at least some passing knowledge of this. Like, I mean, again, you see these kinds of things all the time. Oh, okay, there's two pests. That's what it is. There, there's there's two pests in one of the other ones. Well, uh, do we want to finish this out? Try to get, try to get the whole set, get this done, or are we sure. going straight back to a to a? Oh, I can pull out my stuffed mascot mm -hmm. uh, from Quandrix that I usually keep on my shoulder. Oh, it's a dra mm -hmm. Oh no, it's a dragon. Normally, isn't it? It's not a. Yeah. It's not the it mascot. Is. However, I mean, again, you're you're all familiar enough that like you know any spell that is based on your familiarity will work. I so so here is the deal. I can certainly try to locate the next mascot as we get closer to it. But if I do so, then our spiky friend here will not be inclined to follow us around like a little catter puppy any longer. Understood. Oh, oh, well, but we got that the the bag full of the tags that we're supposed to use, and um, didn't right, that... we, can, we can put those on. Yep. yep. When you put the tag on it, it just kind of relaxes. Very well. I will let go of its charm now. Does anything it happen? Stops and it turns and looks at you for a second. It just kind of narrows its eyes. And then the ion stone makes another rotation and it immediately starts chasing it again. Goes all around you. Yep. Uh, all right. So then are we trying to find uh, what uh, what school is it that you are a part of Nico Quandrix. Yes. With all the mathematics. Yes. So our mascot is uh what did I say? It was it's the it's the fractal. Uh and I start describing what a fractal looks like to 
Very uh, well. As, as you're I... describing it, I am trying to get the, the light posse to recreate it in a 3D light formation. And it's okay. It's not bad. Theo I'm... takes out his forked twig. Mm -hmm. Just and starts to try to cast locate object on the nearest fractal mascot. You definitely feel it pulling you in a direction that is from where you are northeast, back in the way you back in the direction you came from. We should go northeast. Mm -hmm. Um as you all are making your way basically back down south to the uh um to the ramp and then uh back up again, um you hear Help! Help! Oh, another unicorn! Let's go! And I'm off. <laughs> oh no, we're here for fractal mascots, not for people who need help. Why not, Bull? <laughs> As you are heading in that direction, um, you come upon another one of these huts, and you see a green-skinned orc that I will say most of you all uh, recognize, especially those of you that are uh, potentially of, of, of the academic uh, mindset, Urz Matak Grosh, who is an, an orc, um, who is an academic overachiever. He's the kid that somehow gets over a 4.0, uh, but he's got very long tusks, like anomalously long, impractically long tusks. And you also see another creature that I will say, Nico, you've seen, but only at night. And Theo, you've seen only at night, too. That is um, a dryad. Uh, she looks like she's made out of wood with, like, a faint glow in her eyes. Like, she's a sentient plant. But the two of them are up on the walkway, scrambling backwards as you see an orange ooze, like the one that came after the all of you oh, on the no. first day, creeping across the ground towards them. And they're like, eh, back, stop, halt. Um, we do not consent. Ah, help, help. Ah, you heard them like posse. Let's go. They don't consent. Why do they need help? I mean, we kind of had to deal with that ourselves. Well, sure, that'll I be fine. I, I, I'm yelling back as I'm flying mm -hmm. towards the thing. I, I think we're awesome and not everybody is. Mel, what would you like to do as you come in on this thing? Um, so yeah. my, my... Remembering lady... last time consciously what you did that split it in half. <laughs> yes. Well, and I'm going to do something slightly different as mm -hmm. the flavor of this is I swoop forward, my lightning bugs flanked around me, and then they swarm forward to surround this thing as I'm actually going to cast fairy fire on it. Mm -hmm. Um, It needs to make a dexterity saving through DC 13. And if I remember correctly... Of the three billion natural ones that I rolled, one of the uh, wild magic surges I got, uh, creatures have disadvantage on saving throws against the next spell you cast in the next minute that involves a saving throw. So <laughs> I would like it, it to have disadvantage this time. It Well, that's good, because it would have made it, and then now it's a three. So uh, you see the light erupts, and you see spy of this tendrils and pseudopods kind of come up, and it slides off the walkway back into the bog. Nice. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And it is now outlined in a kind of a yellowish light and um, it's it's shedding dim light in a 10 foot radius and we all have uh, advantage on attack rolls against it and it can't turn invisible. Yeah, it is actively trying to, to depart though. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. then I will it's, swear it's at it mm -hmm. um, in undercommon as, as fearsomely as I can. Get him, posse! Yeah! yeah! See? See? My <laughs> bugs got it. We didn't even have to go after that. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I, I had it in uh, hand. Um, I, I'm not really one for fisticuffs. I, um, and it's okay, you, I am. You see the dryad stands up, and she very much is like, um, thank you. My, my name's Melthorne. How? Hi. Hi. I don't, uh, I, Mal, I, Nico, Empathio. I, Hello, I've, I've seen really you around. Right. Me? Yes, of course you've seen me. Who hasn't We're seen not me? I'm talking about you, guy. <laughs> oh, um, well, it, no, 
Felthorn is very unique. I was counting on her protecting me should we encounter any danger. What was that? And she goes, well, it, it wasn't hostile. I mean, it wanted to eat us, but it's just doing what it does. That's what, I mean, it, it didn't. Creature doing what's in their nature is not, you know, it's not malice. You understand. Ha, yes. Uh, what are you all doing out here? We're on a homework. secret homework mission. We're trying to recover all the mascots. <laughs> yeah. Bless y'all, Impa. Um, <laughs> Theo, you are aware what you're looking for is in that hut that's nearby. Uh, so looking for mascots. That, I mean, that's, Have they're you everywhere. Been into you the just, hut, right there? You just summon a mascot, you know, I suppose. I mean, or is that, have you not gained that capability yet? I'm aware that not everyone has the raw mystical ability that I have. I just went back in time a few seconds and loaded something into your trousers that you were going to discover once you make it back to your dorm. And so, listen, don't try to talk to me about what I can and can't do. You are a poser. I assure you, my grades very much say different, but uh, fine. Grades are like loading everything. things into people's pants, Theo. And why'd you load? <laughs> you see, um... Don't worry about it. I, I, that's all I can think about right now. What'd you load? I gotta know. You'll tell me later. It's fine. It's fine. You, you see, um, Mel, Melwithorn, um, sort of looks at you, Impa, and she says, I see you studying by yourself when I'm studying by myself. Um, yes, 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 well, I see you studying by yourself when I'm studying by myself. You saw me studying by myself, too? Oh. I did, I did, yes. You see all over her a surge of wild magic comes up as flowers start to blossom around her and like butterflies come floating around and like landing on her and floating around her head and she's like this this only happens when i'm embarrassed i'm, I'm sorry it's just it's hey it's better lovely. than what happens to me i see this stripe it goes bright red <laughs> yours at um, least is really pretty and you see way more butterflies start coming out and blossoms start appearing all over her. She's like, mm, mm, mm. and you see, um, uh, these names do not roll off the tongue. Um, Urzmatok. Uh, Urzmatok just says, uh, eh, I don't know what this is about catching mascots, but I suppose you've helped me, so I should help you. I think there might be one there. Right in there. Yes, I can detect the presence of the construct. Right inside there. Shall I go and fetch it for you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. That would be lovely. Just go on. Sure. Uh, yes. Maybe someone should go with you. I think I'm going to come with you. I mean, is it, is it dangerous? <laughs> I mean, you said you needed protection, right? That's why you brought uh, our lovely just, friend I, here? I'm more of a tactician, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm not one for fisticuffs. I mean, these tusks I'm already on my way decorative. that way. Right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Theo is going to look at the dryad at this point. I'm so sorry. What's the name there? I just turned sorry. away from it. Mel with no, uh, Mel, Mel with Mel, Mel, Mel the art, The art for her is incredible. Just for the record, as an aside, she looks really cool. <laughs> Mel, Mel Thorne. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, what is this about? Uh, did he hire you for protection? or uh, b Because I, I'm certain that if you are in the market for such things, I uh, could employ you from time to time. Oh, oh no! Um, we are we we are some, we're Witherbloom students, and, and and we just came out looking for some plant cuttings, maybe to find some interesting specimens. And and I suppose I I do have some combat capability, I suppose, but I don't want to ever hurt anything that doesn't deserve it. I don't want to hurt anything at all, and so I suppose you're just kind of. A little bit of an upgrade over me. Oh, you don't want to hurt anything either? No, I haven't hey. heard anything for many years. Well, maybe maybe after all of this, we could get together and not hurt anything together. Oh, no. Uh, Whoa, what did I just say? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Are, are you Why are there so many butterflies me? ever? Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nico, is this flirting? 
Mel, she's got more butterflies than you have fireflies at this point. And she's just like standing on the walkway, just looking down. <laughs> I'm enjoying every minute of this. This is adorable. And every once in a while, one of my little lightning bugs lands and like little heart eyes. And I have to remind them like, no, no, don't go after the flowers. Leave it alone. Let let them, let them. Yeah. No, this is, this Feel is the timeline flirting with the tree. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to say. I, I just, you know, if, if you, if you ever uh, available, I, I don't, um, I, I just, um. I, Theo, I, say yes. I don't know, Theo. I don't know how I feel about this. And I sort of pose the way he was posing when I, 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 was... I, I suppose a, a spot of tea would be, would be nice at some point. To... I, 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 I would, I would like. I would like tea too. Um, <clears throat> you from inside the uh, <laughs> the 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 building. You actually, I'm gonna send you guys what she looks like right here. She again, she's really cool. Um, where where are you sending it to, uh, to, to Twitter? Just because it's easier. Our, okay. our our Twitter group. It's easier to send. She looks like that. She looks really cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, yeah. She's she's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, if you like that sort of thing, like your mystical your... tree creatures. Mm -hmm. uh, you, Nico, while you are turned back to give your brother a hard time, you hear, ah, it's, it's, uh, it's getting bigger. Is that, is that normal? Are they supposed what? to get bigger? What's getting That's bigger? What she said. You all hear, <laughs> in, Inside, the shack starts to like bulge a little bit and then rupture as you see Nico, honestly, an incredible sight. It is like geometry has come to life. Um, it is like it is made out of fractals and angles and bits of crystal that have aligned itself in a vaguely serpentine shape, um, but it is physically getting bigger. Like every couple of seconds, it grows a little more, and then it grows a little more. Uh, I mean, yes, that that can happen with with anything that you're looking at. You can have exponential growth. You can also have exponential uh, uh, decrease in size. That happens when when you're looking at the way that numbers expand and things expand. It's not usually like a slow growth. It's usually it's, exponential. It's so you just get bigger and bigger. This is bad. I, I mean, when you got big, it wasn't bad. So this can't be bad, right? Well, that's, that's true, that's true. If you think about the, the, if you think about like, if you have two things, they'll turn into four things, they're like cell division. And then those four will turn into, and they keep splitting and everything gets, so it's not just like adding more every time. So see, it's not abnormal, but we should probably get those bands on it pretty quickly. And you see, Urzma talk moves behind you, Nico, even though he stands nearly chest high over, just puts you in front of him and it, and he's like, um, you know how to handle these sort of things. You sound like a Quandrix. You look like a Quandrix. This mm -hmm. seems like a very Quandrix thing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, a, I... As you're looking at it here, Nico, again, as it's scintillating, again, it's almost like the way you think is manifesting in front of you. It's almost like it's made out of light, even, as you're actually watching it here. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I see that as a natural thing hmm. so oh it's super legit it? to you yeah, yeah it makes perfect sense <laughs> but the rest of you it's a giant crystal snake thing but i also recognize that there's the an equal probability yeah. that it will suddenly by exponential amounts shrink mm -hmm. so i am going to go use my mage hand mm -hmm. reach over to um mal to give me the the bands because mal you have the bands right uh i if I do, they're yours. Here you go. And I'll take. Those. We probably should distribute the bands at some point. <laughs> Fair. Uh, and can I kind of go over to the? How do you want to convince it to let you put to put the band on it? I will draw. I will move my hand in a uh, golden ratio style. Uh, movement 
and then trace out an equation that would lead it to to demonstrate exponential um, decay rather than exponential growth. Uh, give me persuasion with advantage. Okay. It was very Speak creative. math to me. Mm -hmm. math I understood some of those words. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh. Don't say it. One and a seven. Uh, so it's an eight. Oh, that's actually that's actually enough uh, oh. because you're, oh. you're, you're you're literally speaking its language. Um, you see, as it look, it turns its head as it looks at you, and it does start to shrink down some as you're giving it the equation for you know essentially reduction. It starts getting smaller, and as it continues to get smaller. You very much see the pest mascot whips its head around at it and hops down off of Theo's shoulder and starts moving towards it like hop, 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 I, hop, hop. I would like to uh, snatch <laughs> that puppy up very quickly. Bad hungry like, caterpillar. It is like a spiky, squirmy baby, but you are able to kind of, you know, sort of hot potato it now. I'm just and holding it, like, it in one yeah. claw, like, yeah, yeah. no, you're cute, you're cute, but no, 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 don't, don't go after the the, the mobile uh, squares over there. It's not a good idea. Uh, you are able to easily um, uh, put the band on this thing, um, and it shrinks down to. Um, about the a little bigger than the palm of your hand, uh, Nico, where you can sort of like entwine on the around your hand, essentially. Perfect. Yep. Um, after watching this transpire, well, do first of all, do you all tell Urzmatok and Melthorn, Melwithorn, um, why you were looking for these, or just that there's just mm -hmm. loose, loose? No, absolutely um, not. Right. Uh, I uh, might. <laughs> uh, as, that will be the one time where Theo, if you try to talk, if you if if you try to give this away, I Bella will just Thorne suddenly. is a very very. She has kind eyes. You see, she, she does, does look and... at she does look at you, and she says, "Well, maybe if we help, you and I could get that cup of tea sooner than later." I, I think that's a that's a, a wondrous idea. Uh, and was, suddenly Bella there's Thorne... a. A pest mascot in your face. <laughs> As I'm like, here, you dropped this one. Oh, listen, I'm so yeah. sorry to get between. That is really, really nice. The way you could help is uh, I'm actually looking for uh, the one that I lost. Uh, looks like a big art elemental thingy, probably on fire, probably on ice. You, you seen one of those? And we'll be out of your hair. Your, you your leaves. Do see with um, Urzmatox and uh, Melwithorn's help, uh, it is pretty easy. Uh, wrangling the rest of them uh, and you do catch uh, the inkling and you do catch um, the other pest which looks like another spiky caterpillar with the exact opposite uh, color pattern and are able to bring them back to Professor Sharpbeak at or the Biblioplex um, without much other without much other difficulty uh, they're kind of useless in a fight but they're an incredibly useful in navigating through the swamp um, and Professor Sharpbeak smiles and says, oh, you saved me a lot of effort, students. Um, now, I don't have to track them all down myself. Thank you so much for your assistance. Um, let me think. Compensation, compensation. And she pulls a notepad out, and she just scribbles uh, four hastily written notes and hands them to you. We just says, need a school excuse. Oh, no, 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 no. Take that to the student store, and you may choose a magical item of your choice. Hey. All oh, right. So, like a credit card. An, an uncommon one, an uncommon one. Oh. You'll have to earn your artifacts just like the rest of us. I mean, hey, it's, it's, it's uh, loot. I'm, I'm here for Not loot. Not really worth almost dying over, but I keep it's, saying oh. these things, and no one listens to me. Ah, but you keep surviving, lad. And she does just kind of give you like a little punch in the shoulder. And she's like, oh, um, I hate to be the one to point this out to you, especially since I'm the one that sent you out into the swamp. Uh, but you all do have uh, exams to study for. I believe it is tomorrow. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What? 
Uh, yes. well, is it just no. doing pop exams now? It, it, no, I, I mean, it was in your class schedule. Did you not read it, or was your mind only taken up with Mage Tower? Mm, if you don't keep the grades up, you won't be able to compete. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps the professors were sending us out on wild monster chases learning and trying to get us killed. Learning opportunities that, yes, you were able to be of service both to the school and to your education. And, and she very much turns and looks outside in sees um melwithorn sort of um kind of sitting by the fountain uh with two little teacups set up next to her oh. and she's like oh, and apparently making new friends what <laughs> what does she make what friends what does she mm. make the the timeline <laughs> Theo, 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 look out there, look out there. Song. Look, 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 look. And when he turns to look, I'm going to make sure that some of my swarm come up behind him in like a, a very appealing display, like little <sighs> flowers of light are, are behind him just so she sees it. See, see over there, your friend, your friend. Oh, she looks up and kind of waves and the butterflies start <laughs> <laughs> gathering around her again. Uh, and with that with Theo about to have a very interesting cup of tea with a new friend, I think is a good place for us to stop. <laughs> so, uh, all Aww. right. Thanks everyone for joining <laughs> us tonight for episode five of Strix Haven Chaos. This Are you is sure this wasn't episode series. one or episode 20? Because apparently that's what this true. episode was. Uh, apparently true. ones and twenties are all the numbers that we can handle unless it comes to Nico and Jen talking about, you know, quantum theory and golden <laughs> gooses, or I, I, I don't know. It was all kinds of stuff that uh, was way above my head, but was really cool. So uh, thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. We've got three more 12 episodes. crits. This 12 game. crits. This 12 game. crits in two At hours. At least based on my log. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And so yet thank you have you. to believe it for being here for the chaos and i uh, can't wait for these last three episodes yes I, I, I will just tell you one last thing next week we're gonna play us mage tower oh, <laughs> i don't know what it yeah. is but i'm excited mage tower is on so come back next week if you need to catch up all of the episodes are on the demi plane youtube channel as well so you can uh ca catch up there and uh join us for these last three episodes can't wait to see what happens we are also going to be sharing some news about what is going to come after these next three episodes as soon as we can we're working on artwork and all kinds of fun things that we're getting together for that uh and it's going to be uh going to be a lot of fun so uh, keep you posted on that front and join us next week for episode six later gators